All right. We're going to do a little unboxing of the Primaris Repulsor Executioner. It's not a new kit, but it's new to me. Uh, I actually had previously done an unboxing, and I uh, I lost the footage. <laughs> so I'm going to do it over again. Uh, maybe between then and now, I can remember funnier stories about getting this. Um, so here's how I came to get this guy. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks back, maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple of months back, I uh, went into my uh, quasi-local Warhammer 40k store. Uh, I'm kind of between two. I've got one in the town I live in, and I've got another in San Antonio that I visit uh, very frequently since my significant other lives there. I spend some weekends over there. And so whenever I'm there, um, I kind of go in and I pick up an order or whatever. Um, and so I walk in, I think I had ordered, I think I ordered the, uh, the chaplain on bike and I don't know, I got this itch for taking something home with me that day. Uh, right. So it is, I don't know. I, I like ordering stuff and so I get exactly what I want, but sometimes I just want to take something with me. And so I asked the guy, Hey, do you have any land raiders? I need something to transport my, um, my Marines. Um, and now maybe that wasn't it. Okay. So I'll just edit a lot of that out. <laughs> um, I don't remember why I got the Primaris Repulsor Executioner. I'm sure it was a great reason. So good that I've buried it in memory, but let's take a look the contents uh, I'm sure everyone's already seen the packaging right it's that uh, primaris only uh, transport slash combat support unit um, it's a uh, it's a new to me model I've never seen anything quite like this um, there wasn't anything like this when I played uh, 40k uh, you know back in the day uh, Primaris were, you know, they're all new to me, and uh, this is a fairly new kit, so I'm hoping that some of the issues with the fit uh, are going to be resolved. But there's there's a ton of weapons on this guy. Um, I think there's going to be quite a bit of magnetization options. Um, so, let's take a look. Here's the instruction manual that I promise I will read more thoroughly. All right. Um, okay. So it looks like these armor, these repulsor plates are kind of embedded in the structure of the model. It's supposed to just kind of slap on as decoration. Um, so. It's got turret in it. This looks like a bit of a complex build. Not complex, but uh, there's a lot of options, and um, I probably need to read a little bit more about the different options, like the different turret weapons and stuff like that, so that I can magnetize appropriately. So this might be a bigger undertaking than I thought when I first pulled this box out of the pile, but it's got to get done. So, yeah. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Uh, we have these guys. I have no idea what these are. Is it part of the basing, maybe? Yeah, okay. It's part of the basing. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a flyer base for chonky models, so yeah, that makes sense. Cool. I've never seen a piece like this before. It's an interesting approach. Uh, so here is the first sprue. Looks like a side hull, the other side of the hull. You've got the 
bottom part of the hull. Um, I don't know. Looks like some side decoration. These are a bunch of little grav plates that you'll attach instead of a instead of a track system. And just kind of some more details. Uh, I, I don't know if these are called griblies or what, but uh, they're just kind of details you can add, probably mount to the to the hull itself. Uh, our friends, ultramarine transfer sheets, as per usual. This is the sprue with the turret. Uh, I I don't know for a fact, but I, I think there might be a like a purely transport version of that. Uh, the maybe it's the impulsor. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. These are these tanks are new to me, and I haven't done the research. Um, I just wanted to start building. Um, probably not the best approach. So this thing won't be as informative. Uh, but we'll give it a shot anyway. So it looks like there's a couple of, so here's the turret. It's got a bunch of nice little details on it and it's got a lot of like texturing on there. Uh, that should be fun to highlight. Uh, we've got, a, I guess a choice of weapons or maybe this goes on the side, I don't know. So it looks like a, what, an assault cannon. We've got what looked like some kind of plasma weapon, a big old, uh, like a high caliber uh, cannon of some sort. Uh, this looks to be like a missile launch system. I don't know what that is. That could be the. That looks like the a little bit like the ice cream machine from Star Wars that eventually became like a secure container. Um, now I'm pretty sure that's not what it is, but in my head, that's exactly what it is. Uh, we have uh, probably, ooh, I forget what these are called, uh, auto cannon or auto gun, something like that. Uh, we have, I don't know, these are like armor plates or just uh, maybe hatches for people to peek their faces out of. Not a great idea in a tank. We've got the little cable, like a, a tow cable. I don't know if a grav tank can tow. Is that a thing? Uh, the bottom part of the turret assembly. I'm not sure what part of the assembly this is, but it looks like the turret will sit on top of this, and as per usual, it'll have, it'll make it so that you can spin it around, so, you know, it won't glue that down. Um, some Ribleys. Maybe it's like a drum mag or, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. All right, here's our Space Marine gunner. So he's gonna sit on top of the turret and do some planking. Uh, he's got an auspex in his hand because I guess the turret doesn't have an auspex or a monitor on it. That's interesting. Uh, some more uh, either smoke launchers or missile launchers. Here's the shoulder pads for the Space Marine. Uh, the arms, they're hold, they have the paddles, uh, they're holding them so they can fire. Uh, it looks like a, some kind of bolter, maybe a heavy bolter, maybe just a plain bolter, I'm not sure. Um, we have this little detail, because Adeptosauritas can't have all the skulls. We need some too, they're Space Marine dudes. All right. I mean, it's interesting. There's a lot of new weapon systems that I'm not familiar with. Um, I do okay if I'm just looking at kind of uh, firstborn Space Marine uh, vehicles, but Primaris vehicles I'm completely lost in. So um, I'll have to do some more reading. I'm sure it'll get better over time. That to me looks like maybe a like a port on the side. It's just got like a bank of bolters. Um, I'm assuming so that the people inside can shoot out, which is weird because um, I th there's like a, a new FAQ up today. It's the January the eighth as I'm filming this. 
Uh, well, maybe it wasn't out today, but I saw it on the on YouTube. People talking about it today, um, and I thought that you couldn't impact the crew or the people inside the transport um, with stratagems and stuff like that. But maybe shooting out doesn't count for that. I don't know. So the, yeah, you'll see there's some more like look like auto cannons or stubbers or something. There's a lot of these. I'm not exactly sure where they all go. I'm sure the instructions will be very informative there, but it, there's a lot of weapon systems on this thing. It's really cool. Yeah. And uh, here is more parts of the hull. Uh, looks like uh, probably the top part of the hull on which the kind of the turret system sits on top of. Uh, some hatches, some, I don't know, maybe some engine covers or something like that. Um, I'm guessing this is part of the repulsor system. And there's a smokestack because in the far flung future of the 40,000 universe there's only Prometheum which I'm assuming is a gasoline analog. Uh, here's the entry hatch with the places where the engine cowlings are gonna go. A hatch. Yeah there's a lot of cool little details on this that I am... Oh, uh, we've got a row of flashlights or headlamps All right, and then this one big chunkin' base, um, and I guess okay. I'm looking at the box art, and it looks like that's based too. I'm not sure how much of it will be visible, but if the box art has it based, I will also base it up. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it for basing purposes, but I'll figure that out. So. That was our Primaris Repulsor Executioner. Uh, it's a little daunting, but uh, I will make this my very next project. Um, so I'll work on that as I avoid working on my kill team. This should be an interesting build. I also, I'm going to do a, a bit of research um, either between now and when I start building it or as I'm building it on how to magnetize these things because I know that not all the things need to be magnetized, um, but I'll do some research to figure out what the best way to go is. I, I do like to have uh, maximum tactical flexibility, and so uh, I'll probably end up swapping out this cannon with the plasma but I'll kind of switch it up as needed. I don't know if this can be replaced. Uh, I don't know if the, you, you know, they charge for the adding of the bolters uh, and these, uh, I guess, smoke systems and grenade or missile systems, but I'll figure that out. And so if I decide, to, well, no, I will magnetize, but depending on how I go, I'll probably do a video on the building and the magnetization of this thing. So if you haven't seen it before, here it is, the Primaris Repulsor Executioner. Should be a neat project. Thanks for watching.